it's me, Miss Tiger Days, and today I'm going to be doing a review for Snatch Game UK. And before we get started, let me show you this amazing fan, Bimini Babes. Oh my god, it's amazing! It's like a smaller fan, but it's very. So you hit that. Oh, sickening! Oh. And also, do I look stunning? And why I'm wearing this makeup is because hashtag new taste merch. Yes, I am living my Welsh dragon fantasy. And basically, I was going to wear the blonde wig that I have, but it's kind of it really needs some like brushing out and stuff. So I'm gonna wear this one, even though I've worn it in recent videos. And I don't really like to do that, but. I'm gonna do it anyway because I look stunning and you will see the whole look if you follow my Jada Essence whole fan account if you have followed that it will be in the description box and it's almost at 700 followers so five more followers and yep so go follow that and yeah let's get started with today's video also sorry this review is a bit late but i've been pushed for time recently you know this girl's busy oh my god i can't get over how good i look look at those eyes look at me i'm stunning anyway so joe has just gone home again and they are all talking about Rue's apology and Lawrence is like, well, if Rue Paul apologised, it must have been bad. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> and Sister and Ellie come for tea, but, and Lawrence defends her, like, everyone's coming for tea or coffee. A horror just apologised. And now everyone's coming for tea or coffee. Go! Oh! She's stunning. She's got her long hair and I wish my hair was this in real life I mean come on look at it um and yeah that was kind of it and then it's a new day in the workroom and Lawrence has had three wins in a row drag race history but Bim is soon gonna catch her up Ooh. okay so Bim wins this week's challenge oh geez that's where my reading book went. Oh my god, I was looking for that today. Um, if Ben wins, she would have made her three too with Lawrence. So that's exciting. Come on, Ben! And also taste. I don't want to spoil anything, but on the this week's episode, last week's episode, um, was Snatch Game. And on the next one, taste looked like she had sewed her hands. So that is going to be really interesting and also if you haven't watched snatch game from last week this video does contain spoiler alerts so you might want to click off this video but make sure you subscribe first oh yes oh um and tia has lip sync twice and that is drag race uk history will survive two lip syncs so does that mean she's a lip sync assassin we will find out. And then Rue comes in and then you're doing the snatch game. Woo! I don't feel like I'd be terrible at a snatch game, but this beauty would get her through. Because she's a what? She's an icon! I shouldn't say that because I'd go home first then. At Joel Black! I don't even know what I'm going on about right now, so let's just kind of get on with the video. Also, my tiger is alright here. No, that is cute. Um, and Taze is feeling really nervous because comedy is not like, like she's a funny queen, but is the really character her thing? We shall find out. And I love her gigs and stuff. Because obviously my mom has been to see Taste live and I have seen her on virtual stuff. She doesn't really like speaking on the mic, so she, she, um, she might, you know, maybe bomb Snatch Game. Um, and 
Rue comes in for the walkthrough and Tia is doing Shirley Bassey. I thought she was doing Shirley Ballas and I was like, oh my god, it's someone I know. And then it wasn't. The only one I knew was Katie Price. And that is literally from adverts on TV, so I have to say I didn't know her very well. Um, and Mel B is the safer option for Tia. Yeah, we see how that went. And yeah, and then Ellie comes and is just, she's doing um, Vicky Pollard from Little Britain. She gets really emotional about her twin brother Bryce and then obviously she opens up to taste later in the episode. And this really made me think she was going home because um, she just, you know, was like having her story shares and all that and that kind of means sometimes the, the queen's gonna get chucked so i d i thought she was going home you know i didn't know if she was gonna stay or not but i'm not gonna spoil it for you although this video does contain spoilers this new fan is so cute and she really wants to do well for them, her brother Bryce. And then Lawrence comes in, Minam Margol, I don't know who that is, who is a fashion actor. She, um, she makes Rue's laugh and Rue gives advice, you know, just be like yourself, don't pretend. Even though this get, even though this challenge is all about being an impersonator, being a celebrity, although I have to say I'm a celebrity already. Peace, peace in the world, and Bimini is doing Katie Price, and Aurora has a very emotional moment with her. She feels you know, confident, and she's hiding behind a horror. She feels confident hiding behind a horror, and yeah, she cries. I started crying in this episode. And Taste is doing Kath from Kath and Kim in Australia, and Sister is doing Psychic, Psychic Sally. And I feel like this was a good way to kind of get out from answering the questions. You just said Psychic to someone. So it wasn't like answering the questions. So that's kind of an excuse that she like that she had that she used and yeah. And yeah. Michelle and Gemma's Collins are playing snatch game. The GC is in the house. Oh Oh yeah, GC is in the house. The GC is in the house. My mug is looking great, and the GC is in the house, and she's playing the what? The snatch game, okay, yes, snatch game. And Bimini is a hilarious, hilarious from the start. Woo, woo. I'm gonna look up Katie Price right now on YouTube. I wanna see how she speaks. Katie, oopsie, Katie Price. Um, let me just click on this. A hundred scratch cards. I don't know who this is. I've used adverts, adverts, adverts. Oh, one out of two. How great! Oh, at least I can skip this one. Okay, I'm literally watching her right now. Okay, she speaks like Bimini. So Bimini got her nailed. It was great. And yeah. And then obviously, Tia is not funny apart from the I'm scary group bit. That was like the only joke in the whole thing. And 
Aurora does well. She did not deserve to be in the spoiler alert. Bottom three. Um, flexible. Woo, legs. Um, sister is tries hard, but the people find her funny, but she's really not that funny. I feel like she used the excuse to kind of get out of the jokes, but I just want to say, like, even though you might not like Sister Sister particularly, like, don't go on Twitter and say always love and support the queens you like, and just generally support the queens, because it's a tough time for everyone, they're in the middle of COVID, so... You know, getting hate is not the best thing, so send love to every, anyone you can in the drag community, in, you know, your friends and everything, and, you know, just don't be hateful online. There we go. Um, speech of the day. Um, Ellie does good impersonations of Vicky Pollard, but it's not, like, funny and this is why i feel like she should have been in the bottom because there were no like jokes and even though she was doing a good impersonation um it just yeah there were no jokes and snatch game you have to have the jokes oh geez my wrist just clicked uh that wasn't me that was mum outside there she's definitely outside there yeah um Taste is very good, and her Australian accent is like taking the mic out of my neck. Took the neck or something she said like that. So funny, so funny, so funny. I actually thought she would be safe, but I'm so glad that the judges thought it was hysterical because I love taste so much, as you can see. Welsh dragon realness, and I'm super happy that she did well. And yeah. Um, but Bim is obviously the best by far. Wampkin Wabbits. Amazing. Woo. Like, legend! Bimini! Oh, Bimini. She's a legend. She's a legend. She's a legend. She's a legend. And Viv and um, Bagger do a video question as Margaret Thatcher and Donald Trump. And then it is time for the runways and elimination day. So we can kind of see a clear part of the tops and bottoms. Bimini is gonna, definitely going to win. I thought Ahura was going to do um, really well for what should be in the I thought it was gonna be between Bimini and Ahura to win. Taste would be safe and she would be safe with who did I think would be safe? And she would be safe with maybe sister and then Ellie, Tia and um Long to be in the bottom. Obviously that is just what I think and if you don't agree with that then go watch another video. Or just carry on watching this video so you know be a friend and be open to other people's opinions and like some people and um lawrence is feeling really down on her performance and she gets really good advice from tia and then um taste and ellie have a really nice like sweet moment but obviously ellie opens up to taste about her relationship with her dad and how her dad was horrible to her and how her, but her mum stood up from her and her mum doing that is just it's so amazing that her mum obviously she loved her dad for you know some years and months i don't know how long we were married for and just to but to take your child sides and leave everything else behind is just really brave and so I applaud ellie's mum and ellie is just 21 and Going through that and coming and styling wigs and doing your makeup and making your costumes like amazing. Shout out to Ellie Diamond Girl. I love ya. Um so that's really sweet. Um and taste is really supportive and honestly it's a great conversation. I usually skip the mirror chats when I'm like re-watching the episode, but I feel like this one would be one I would watch because it's just so sweet and yeah. So, time for the runway. Rue is wearing a short black dress. 
cup. The show looks amazing, stunning, everything, yes. And Alan's car is the guest judge along with singer Jesse Ware. And the category is prehistoric drag from one million years ago BC go JS and Tor was born then, so it was definitely BC Yeah and um a horror comes out in this bone corset with this bone like cage and she looks amazing my eyes start like aching i have no clue why but i get aches don't need medical attention just me no i wish i hadn't said that and i can't edit it out because i'm not an editor i'm just an 11 year old looking stunning Telling you my opinions about drag. That's why you should subscribe. And um, Taste comes out and her makeup is incredible. She looks everything. Hashtag T. Uh, she looks amazing. I miss my fans. This like these fans, yeah. Um and yeah. She looks incredible and the outfit is obviously, well it's not obviously, but it is actually made by a horror. So yeah. And then Bimini, so then Sister comes out and, and she's not great. The skin into cat is good and I have to say, no one else has pointed this out, but Sister copied a horror's bone cage mouth. Sister, Sister, more like copy, copy. No reason to send hate though. Just pop, pop, just plopping that out there. Um, then Bim comes out in Bacteria, it's a really clever idea so I didn't get it straight away but I understand where she was going now and Bimini, you're a great girl. Um, and it's just really good, a really clever idea, I don't know if I've said that already. And then um, Tia, I'm doing this in the wrong order but oh well, she's got this pterodactyl pterodactyl look and it's kind of good it's quite good but it's not on another level you know what i'm saying it's kind of safe but it's still better than her other looks that she's bought although i do like that ice cream look i stand by that ice cream look and lawrence comes out it's very predictable and dull it's tiger print hello excuse me i was doing tiger print before drag race uk season two was filmed excuse me all oh, that maybe that means lawrence likes me you know, watches my videos, follows me. She takes inspiration from me. No, 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 no. I know that doesn't happen, but I want it to go. But that's the dream. Well, the dream is to have taste for me because Jada already follows my Jada since whole fan account. And by the way, that's on Instagram. And then Ellie comes out and she's Pebbles and Spinster. It's cute, but it's not a brilliant girl. And then it's time for the judges. And basically, Ellen and Sister are safe. The tops are Bim and Taste. And the bottoms are Horror, Lawrence and Tia. And Lawrence cries and Horror should not be there. And then in Untucked, Taste is very happy and Tia is upset because she knows she's in the bottom and who was like girl you can do the lip sync and then like whoever's in the bottom go out there and kill it and who is feeling down and worried she'll have to lip sync because she thinks lord's badges will save her and then bimini wins or is safe and she throws her cup down in frustration that she was in the bottom and then tia and Lawrence are in the lip sync and i can't say it but t goes home and it's so sad oh my god it's so sad but guys make sure to subscribe thank you for watching this week's video and i hope to get another review out of dragos uk and some more content for you guys soon so make sure you subscribe bye huns